side, another side, and the front. The front lawn is uh, really, the front garden is really minimalist. Not, uh, it's easy to maintain. Uh, we have some English boxes planted here in the flower beds. They give it a good, good nice, clean, modern look. Go in from here. This is the door. We have recess lights at the front. Custom made door with custom made candles. And here we go in. This is the hallway. It's all timber. This is a recent renovation that we did two years ago. It's new. The floor, it goes all the way to the main um, meals and living area. But I'll start with the, so we entered from here. Here's the first bedroom. This is my son's room. It's a very spacious one. Um, fits in a queen bed with two side tables here. This is the cupboard. It's a tall cupboard with huge three sliding, four sliding doors. So it's wall to wall all the way. You guys can see that. And there's enough room space here. I've put in some stools. Okay, the entrance, once we enter, and to the main door, there's this feature wall as you enter. This is this very striking, stunning feature of the house. So this was one bedroom. Here's the second bedroom. Again, it's a queen bed with two side tables. It looks out to the front yard. It's a tall windows all the way. And again, the cupboards are tall with three sliding doors, ample space. And the, the, here's the view from the windows. The windows are great because I'll just show you we have we can open them like this all the way they open fully or you can switch it on and open just this bit so for airing you can just have it like this or you can open it fully it depends what you like so it gives um, everyone a lot of flexibility and you know nice views in the front these are big um, bedrooms Okay, so after the two bedrooms, we are here, we are in the formal lounge. Again, the whole flooring is wood. Tall windows again, with the center window same that you can open fully or you can just open a bit just to have a bit of an air there. Okay, just check, it's the roof that I really love. It's a cascading roof, like a cathedral ceiling. It's very, very high and a very striking feature of the house. So this is the lounge, formal lounge. <coughs> okay, here we have the third bedroom. This is again queen bed with two side tables. Nice view. So the view is really good. The window is big. It opens all the way if you want to. And the room has ample space. Again, the is the cupboards. The cupboards are tall and enough, more than enough actually. So here we are again in the main hallway. So as we go towards the main meals and lounge area, the whole, towards the whole length of the hallway, we have these sliding doors cupboards. So this is all storage. This one, as I'm moving, this is all storage on my left-hand side. These are sliding doors. I'll just show you guys. And lots of cabinets here. This is a. This has been a very useful feature of the house for me. Um, I just stored away everything, literally everything. So there's no overflowing garage in this case or any other room. Okay, when we go to this area, this area is cordoned off. It is the uh, shared area for the bathroom, toilet, and laundry. It has a sliding door. I just open it. This is the common over here. Let's show you. The floor. This one is the 
shape, but it's a huge shower with recessed niche to put in the toilets. The bathtub is new, two years old again when we renovated. And there's a lot of space. The, the sink is huge. There's a lot of space in the drawers and the cabinetry here. That's it. Powder here. And again, the cabinetry. There's lots of area here as well. Here's the laundry. It's all tiled. It's a huge laundry again. Uh, we have the washer and the dryer mounted. So there's ample space here for ironing or sorting or folding, all of that. And we have built in, built in hampers. There are two tall go to end to end um, wardrobes here sort of cabinets where you can put in your cleaning uh, equipment, whatever you have, or some storage. There's a lot of storage in these cabinets as well. And this is connected to outdoors. So it's very, very convenient for you to hang your laundry. So it's next to the area where you air the laundry. And this is the side area. It's quite huge, this area as well. Let's go back in and show you the rest of the house. So we're again in the hallway, coming from the straight hallway all the way. And this is the study come rumpers for kids. It's a huge study area. We've got our board games here. Kids have a bit of a play, Xbox, whatever they want. Their mates come in. This is the room they hang up in. So it's a huge huge, huge room. Again, the ceiling is the same. It's a cathedral ceiling, very high. This room can easily be converted into a cinema room if somebody wants that kind of a experience. So it's like a multi-purpose area. Is the cabinet built in? Sorry? Is the cabinet built in, in this study area? Uh, which cabinet? The one, this one? Um, the one against with the, the wall, wall, the left? No, no. Does that stay? No, yeah, it can stay. Thank you. But it's not a built-in one. It's a movable one. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so we have two steps getting down into, and this is a tiled area. It's a beautiful area. This is the, so this is the meals and the living. See, I'll just give you an overview. This is kitchen, meals, this, and I'll just show you the ceiling because that's the feature that really attracted me to it the first time um, I got in. This is really, really beautiful. Huge ceiling with featured lights. Okay, so this is the seating area on looking to the pool and the beautiful decking. This is where we um, mostly um, hang out as a family. And it's a beautiful space. It's good for our family of five, a um, lot of space. This is a staircase to the master. The master is upstairs. I'll take you there in a bit, just showing you the whole space for you to have a look and get an idea. This is where the TV unit comes in. So this is like a floating wall for the TV. See, and then that's how it goes up. So it's like a floating wall in the middle. And beautiful cabinetry colors, just to create the contrast. So this is the meals area. This is the floating wall. I, was yeah. it uh, up there? Is it the vents up there? The, all the, when? All the yeah. No. The top, no, these are speakers. We have an uh, integrated speaker system in the house. So I'll just show you. This is the main hallway where we came from. And these are the sliding door cabinets that I showed you guys. I'll just show you here. 
we have a speaker system. So we switch it on from here, play from here. And these are the switches. Uh, these are the switches. So one set is for the master bedroom upstairs. One set is for the rumpus here, the kids hangout place. One set is for the lounge and the meals area. And one set is for outdoor pool area. So the music plays to all these areas. You can control how many speakers you can have on and off and you can go zonal if you just want one or you want the whole house. When we have parties and we have a lot of people, we just switch it all on. And sometimes when it's just kids made, they have their area on and sometimes you might know, just pool. So it gives you a lot of flexibility in that. And sorry, this is the rumpus that I showed you with study. And they're the speakers. Thank you. In the, no problem. Also from the rumpus, this is a door coming in from the garage. And I just want to quickly show you, this is the second downstairs powder that we have. Yeah, so with hot and water, this services the pool and we also use it as an additional one in the house. It comes in very handy. So we, in fact, we have three powder rooms, including the one that's upstairs with the ensuite. Okay, I'm going back to the main area. Okay, so this, this just connects uh, the outside with the inside um, really beautifully. And we get lots of sun, um, plenty of it. Um, all the way through winter, summer. Summer is not that hot from here. Um, the sun, the, the way it works, we get a lot of winter sun over here. And um, so it stays up until um, before sundown, actually. Um, this is the kitchen. This is a waterfall island. It's a stone one, very easy to maintain. We have some bar stools, kids eat their meals over here. Okay, so the cabinetry over here, I want to mention, uh, we have four full-sized from floor up until this area, like fully integrated pantry areas. So we have cabinetry here, cabinetry here all the way at the top of the stove. And then this is the second one from floor and up. Then we have oven and microwave integrated again. This what is brand the brand of the Okay, we have Fisher and Peiko dishwasher. Yeah, it's Fisher and Peiko. And we have Ariston oven. And it's the same for the range. And this is the flexion for the fridge. And we have a bigger pantry on this side as well. But this is all integrated, seamless, uh, very easy to uh, clean and very easy to maintain. Um, it's like almost smudge free. So I don't have to maintain it um, you know, with too much work, hard work. That's why, it, uh, and it's very, um, very low maintenance, I would say. What I like about this area is that we have integrated um, bin area as well. So there's two bins which are integrated on this side. So I use this counter to prepare my things and then just have it over here. So everything goes in very uh, quickly. Gives me a lot of flexibility. With the dishwasher, all the cutlery, crockery that resides in here, these ones, I'll just show you. So it's very quick for me to just go in from the, you know, from the dishwasher into the, that it just makes everything really handy. I'll just go out from here and show you the outdoors. Okay, here we are. We have sliding doors here to go out. They can be locked. It's up to you. There, there's a key here that goes in. Uh, it can use that lock and there's a manual lock as well. We have a huge area on this side. So we get two doors from the garage coming onto this area, that one on the side. And then this one is like a shutter. So this is for if you have a caravan or a boat or something, it's for that. So we have our Barbie parties over here and we've done a plenty of them. The area is beautiful. I have the umbrella um, and folded because of the storm today. It's very, very windy. 
We have English boxes on the side beds, very low maintenance again. It's all the floor is in this really low maintenance. And here I am. Awesome. The view of the backyard. Let's try something. Wait, this area as well. Mm. All the way the windows. Those are the speakers that you see on the. Literally just thinking of buttons, you know. So you can <laughs> play them together. And the pool is big and good. We have enjoyed this pool over the years a lot, my kids and my, ourselves. And this is a gazebo. We have a gazebo here. And that on is the side door that leads towards the side to the laundry that I showed you before. Just take it up like this so that I can give you an idea. This is the side that I showed you already. And it looks lovely with all the plants that we put on the side in the plant boxes. Uh, when the, the, there's blooms, there's some English boxes and there's a little bit of blooms in there. So, you know, when it's spring and summertime, it looks lovely and gorgeous around the pool area. And at the back, we have a big space where we had trampoline before, but uh, we've just taken that out for now. But it's a huge one. We had a 16 feet trampoline fixed in this area. There's a lot of area where you can do um, veggie patch or if you want, put some veg, veg uh, plant, some uh, Is veggies. Fence the pool off so you can access the backyard with the pool being fenced off? Yeah, the thing is that when you enter it from the sides, this is the area that you use to go out from here, or you can go in from this door, the front door, but it's a heavy door, so it, it can't be moved in from the younger but kids. It's a it's heavy door. To, it's more for a small child to access the backyard to play without having access to the pool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's possible, yeah, on the side door. This, this, these side doors for a small child to go to the backyard from this area. Okay, thank you. No problem. I'll just take you guys to the master suite upstairs. So these are okay. I'm just going up. We have integrated lighting over here also along the staircase. So this is where it leads up to this parents' retreat. That's where we land. I'll just show you it has nice views of the area. And this is the view of the bedroom. Again, I'll show you the ceiling. It's huge, very high. The down lights all the way. So this parents retreat is a very versatile uh, area. When I was working from home during some lockdowns, uh, now I'm not, so th that's why you see this setting. Um, this could be converted into a uh, home office or study or whatever. So it, this is a very versatile area here. And the bedroom itself is quite big. These are the walking rooms. So they all have sliding doors. So the walk-in robe is huge. It's from one end to the other end of the room. And again, we have speakers and we have windows on the top. Everything is uh, fully blinded. So if you want no light, you can just pull the blinds down. There's this area. And this is the third walk-in walk robe here. 
Mm -hmm. We have this entrance and there is another entrance. There's this entrance, the so two entrances. You can enter, so it's like, a, I'll just show you from here. Yeah, it's like this. You can enter from both areas. I'll just enter from this area and show you the upstairs. So we have two vanities here. And the tower. there's a range tower here. There's a niche to keep everything intact and clean. And here we have a window which is opaque, covered. And this one also overlooks the area outside. So this is the upstairs and the ensuite. No, you're right. I didn't even think to that. I'll just go down. I'm just standing in a place in the bedroom. I'll just be going out now. Do we leave? Or do we... No. We really enjoy ourselves a lot. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful place and a lot of entertaining is done over here. So I'm at the front again. Here we are. Yeah, so it's me and my husband. We can take any questions. If you guys have any questions, we're happy to answer that for you. Um, uh, is it okay, Eric? Are we done? Yeah, just a couple of questions for you guys. Um, so if I'm not wrong, there is uh, no door to the master bedroom and uh, no door on the ensuite attached to the master. Hi, Parish. There, yeah, that's uh, this is Sohail here. Um, that's right. So the the parent retreat upstairs is is uh, is open plan. It's it's a uh, uh, styled on a on a on a hotel suite uh, uh, styling. So yeah, when you go upstairs, there are no uh, no rooms. So the the entire upper floor, the retreat, the ensuite, and the the very large bedroom is just the parents area. So yeah, but there's no to answer your question. There's no door. To the to the upstairs area once you go up on the stairs, and no door to the toilets and bathrooms as well. Yeah, that's right. On up, yeah, upstairs or the ensuite. Yeah, again, it's on designed like a hotel suite. Yeah. So yeah, there's no door. And just a, just a quick one: the hallway. How wide is the hallway? Um. So so this is where you're talking about the the hallway inside as we enter house. through this front door. Yeah. yeah inside, you know. Wait a minute. Yeah. Where the, where yeah. the linens are. Sure, sure. That would be about a, uh, even with the, the storage all across, uh, all the end to end storage on the left as you walk in, it'll still be about a meter and a half in width. Mm. Yeah. Mm. No, that's all good, man. Thanks. Thanks for the info. Do we have any other questions? Hi, I'd like to ask a question in regards to the pool. Is that solar heated and gas heated or is it purely solar? It's, it's just solar, it's not gas heated. Thank you. Is there a storage area for the pool equipment out the back? If, if there's no storage built in. Uh, at the back, what there's enough space. So what we have is uh, sort of roller, roller wheeled cabinets um, at the back behind the gazebo, as well as to the side of the the house where the pool equipment is. So where the pool pump and the equipment is, that's where we fit in. Uh, that's where we store the, the the pool cleaning equipment, so the the vacuums and 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 so on. And at the back of the gazebo, we we have roller mounted uh, cabinetry 
that uh, stacks in kids' toys and other pool equipment and, and, and the fun things that the kids use in the pool. Thank you. Would you mind showing us the internal of the garage? T, do you want yeah. to go? Yeah, sure. Okay. It's not in one of the best positions right now, but I will for sure show you what we have right now over there. We usually have our um, table tennis table there for the kids to have a go when they feel like during lockdowns. But right now, everything has gone up. I'll just show you. Okay, so this is the garage. It is a, it is a three car garage. Um, the floor is freshly painted. So it's, it's, it's done up really nicely at the moment. Obviously it's all, all the stuff that we, we've, we've the floor? managed to put in the garage, but yeah, yes. it's, uh, it's pretty large. It's uh, the, uh, the, the motor and the, the equipment to operate the roller door is again, brand new. It's been put in in the last six months or so. Um, the, the doors are really solid mix of metal and wood. So again, designed per, uh, as part of the architectural design of the house that was designed with it. So it's not a door that you can just uh, buy off the shelf, either the, the, the big garage door. And the roof, it's also high again. Uh, that's the thing with the, the all over, the roofs are really, really high. Um, I haven't seen, when we were looking, I haven't seen anything like this in Berwick. We were looking for some time when we moved in. Yeah, and that's what I really loved about the house that, you know, it, it feels really spacious and there's lots for each and every family member to, to hang out alone if they want to or together and have their mates up and have a party and, you know, get together for a barbie. So it's, a, it's good from an entertaining point of view and during lockdowns, it has given us a lot of space to, you know, just to be around. Thank you. And is the alarm system operational at the moment? Yes, it is. So um, it's connected or the, the, the control panel is within one of the, the, the bedrooms on the ground floor. Uh, to be honest, we don't use it um, because we, we we feel fairly secure in the kind of neighborhood we are. But uh, yeah, it is it is functional. There's a that's the panel at the door. There's a panel next to the garage door when you come into the house. So it is connected and, and working. It's just that we don't uh, we don't and we don't use it much uh, for ourselves. But that's a personal choice more than anything else. Thank you. I have just one final question from us. There's a space next to the house to the right of what we're looking at now. What actually is that empty space? Is that uh, cancel land? And do you know what they use it uh, for? Yeah, no, that belongs to uh, Southeast Water. So okay. uh, it, it, it runs, if you, if you look at the uh, a top view of the entire area, it's actually what brings the water down from reserves in Cardinia all across Berwick and, and, and towards Clyde. So it will go literally kilometers to the right and kilometers to the left if you if you look at it so, so and that's obviously fenced off so that's not uh used by the public it's used by southeast water um they have uh, um, uh, uh, tanks uh, every few hundred meters there and they do some water testing also from time to time it's, it's land that belongs to them so, it's, so ours is number four if you look at the house uh, before us, a so number number five, and then so one house past our house, and then you see that land going across. It cut a, cuts across O'Shea Road and goes into uh, Berry Chase, and just keeps going that way. Thank you. Appreciate that. Right. Um, really appreciate if you guys really want to have a feel, look and feel of the area. I would strongly, you know, just drive by. Uh, come in that this court, have a look, have a Already feel, done that. Um, and you will love this neighborhood. We've enjoyed it. You've done that. Oh. Uh, I did that on Thursday. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I think one of my neighbors were telling me that there was somebody who came and have a look. Yeah, so it might be you. <laughs> he was just telling oh. me this. Somebody was came to have. It's a fantastic neighborhood. Um, it's the first place that I've lived in, in in many, many, many years where I know every neighbor's really name cool. and their wife's name and the husband's name and the dog's name and the cat's name because this is that kind of neighborhood. The, um, the, the pre-Christmas courtyard party that the neighbors put together for themselves, by themselves, is, is really something. Yeah.
Right, Can you move very... because of our kids study plans that she... yeah. I'll take a leave now. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks, sure. Morris. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks. All right. So any other questions? All good. All good. Thank you, guys. Right. Appreciate it. No so, guys, so uh, I will give you guys a call um, after the meeting, probably this afternoon, and then we can just have a chat individual, individually about this house. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, we can definitely um, you know, talk about it when I call you. All right, guys. Thank you again for joining our virtual inspection today. Uh, uh, thanks, T, uh, for doing a fantastic job. That's very, very good Thank to see you. the, the commenting of your house. Um, um, so if there's no more questions, we're going to be finished the meeting now, um, and we'll talk to you guys, uh, later this afternoon. All right. Again, thanks for joining. Have a good weekend and we'll speak soon. Thank you. Thank All you. Right, see you guys. Okay. Thank you, Eric. Thanks. Okay. See you guys. I'll speak to you. I'll, tell you, I'll call you back later. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. See ya. Bye. Sure. 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 Yeah. Take yep, care. Sure. Bye. Bye.